I've got a confession to make. In almost a year with the iPad Pro, I've barely taken it out of the Magic Keyboard. Don't get me wrong, I think it's a brilliant keyboard case, but I didn't realize just how limiting it was to house my iPad in a single form factor until I picked up the Magflot Magnetic Stand by Charging Pro. Not only does the Magflot have a sleek aluminium design, well worthy of any desk setup, it can be rotated 360 degrees and tilted 180, making it incredibly versatile as well. So here there are five game-changing ways that the Magflot can bring your iPad out of its shell. There are two ways that you can use your iPad as a companion to your Mac and both of them are made a lot easier by using a stand instead of a keyboard case. First up is Sidecar, which allows you to mirror or extend your computer to your iPad. This is great if you need more screen real estate or you wanna see how a video or image project looks on an Apple device. More recently, Apple rolled out Universal Control, which allows you to take control of your iPad and your computer at the same time using a single keyboard and mouse. The key difference here is that your iPad remains your iPad, so you can keep using all of those iPad OS apps while doing things like dragging files from one device to the other seamlessly. Both of these use cases are far more intuitive on a stand than they are in a keyboard case. It provides more elevation so your eyes don't have to travel as far from one device to the other, but more importantly it cuts out all of that muscle memory that otherwise has you reaching for your magic keyboard instead of sticking to your computers. It's a subtle difference but it's just enough to keep you in the moment if you're in a state of flow and being able to rotate in and out of portrait and landscape means I can choose the right orientation for the task that I'm doing. This is where the Magflot stands apart from its competitors and there's one use case where this is a real game changer. Okay, so one of my big bugbears with the iPad Pro is that when you're using it in landscape mode, the camera is over here on the left hand side of the screen and that means it looks like you're just staring off into the distance. But the Magflot changes that because you can simply rotate the iPad around 90 degrees and then you get a nice portrait shot which means that you're actually looking at the person on the other side of the device. That makes this a brilliant option for Zoom calls, but also FaceTime, and it's definitely gonna be my video calling device going forward. At the right angle, the Magflot really does make your iPad look like it's floating in midair. It sparks your imagination and makes you think far beyond the way that you usually use this device if you're used to having it in a magic keyboard. I tried to work full time on the iPad before and it never really clicked. Experimenting with the Magflot and making my own standalone computer setup with a mechanical keyboard and a mouse has really tempted me to give it another go. Because if you love tech, then you love experimenting and even just fiddling around with this setup made me feel really joyful when I was doing some pretty boring tasks. If you wanna see me give the iPad another go for my day job, then hit the subscribe button and I'll take that as a sign. But seriously, as good as the Magic Keyboard is for short stints, being able to choose your own keyboard and mouse is actually a really big thing. It also just gives you more of a chance to choose the aesthetic that you want to create in your home office environment. And I also found that having a bit of distance between my hands and the screen stopped me from reaching out to touch the iPad all the time and made me treat it more like a computer. I'd actually say that rotating rotating the iPad into portrait mode and working with a mechanical keyboard is the best typing experience I've had on any device. But there's a reason why you bought an iPad instead of a laptop, right? And all you have to do is put that keyboard aside and you've got a wonderful easel mode where the Apple Pencil really comes into its own. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro can be pretty unwieldy and I've often struggled to actually get comfortable enough to sit down and draw for a long period on Procreate or use it as a genuine note-taking machine. But being able to tilt the stand back 90 degrees means that you don't have to hunch over your desk anymore and you've actually got a pretty solid sturdy base for you to do all kinds of pencil work on. Being able to articulate your iPad like this is brilliant for artists but it's also great for musicians who want to play along to sheet music on their iPad or for video creators who want to use their iPad as a makeshift screen reader. For similar reasons gaming is brilliant on the Magflot stand. Gone are the days of bumping the keyboard with your controller or having it cluttered the beautiful visuals on your display. And just being able to sit that little bit further back from your iPad can make for much better gaming experience. But if you're just watching movies or YouTube, then it's brilliant for that as well. Watch this video next if you wanna see how I got on working on the iPad for three weeks straight. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.